All right, in this problem, we have to figure out what the length of side x is of this right triangle, given the length of this side, which is 19 units, and the measure of this angle, which is 24 degrees. So let's figure out which one of these trig ratios we have to use in order to find the length of side x. All right, one thing that I would do as a beginner is I would just label what each side of this triangle is relative to this angle. For example, we know that the longest side of a right triangle is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to label this side H for hypotenuse. Now, out of the three sides, one of the three sides will not form the angle in question. For example, this leg right here does not form this 24 degree angle. This line segment does and this line segment does. And the one that is not part of forming that angle is considered your opposite side. So we would say that side X is opposite the 24 degree angle. So I'm going to label this side O for opposite, which leaves us with one thing remaining, this side right here. So this must be adjacent relative to our 24 degree angle. Now, because we are dealing with an X and we're dealing with this 19 here, that means we must use the opposite length and the adjacent length. And the ratio that forms opposite and adjacent would be a tangent ratio. So what we're going to do is we're going to write tangent of 24 degrees is equal to the length of the side that is opposite, which in this case is x. We don't know what that is yet, over the adjacent length, which is 19 in this case. All right, now whenever you have the denominator's length, what we're going to do is we're going to automatically send it to the other side. We're going to multiply 19 by the tangent of 24 degrees. Basically, we just isolated the variable x. Because we're dividing by 19, we multiply by 19 on both sides. So multiplying this by 19 cancels out 19, leaving us with just x. So finding 19 times the tangent of 24 degrees is going to give us the length of x. All right, so let's input this into a calculator and see what the value of x is. So we take 19 and we're going to multiply it by the tangent of 24 degrees. And then we hit enter and we come up with a value that's 8.45 and some change. Now we have to round to the nearest tenth. So 8.45 would be rounded to 8.5. So we would say that side x is approximately equal to 8.5 units. Okay, same thing in this problem. We just have to figure out what the length of x is, given this angle right here, which is 62 degrees, and the length of this side, which is 60 units. All right, so let's label what each side is relative to this angle right here. So we know that the longest side is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to label that h right away. All right, and then we have these two sides that form this right angle. One of them is going to be your opposite side relative to this angle, and one of them is going to be adjacent. Now remember, the one that does not form the angle in question is always going to be your opposite, which leaves us with the adjacent angle. All right, so they give us x right here, and they give us 60 right here, so we have to use adjacent and hypotenuse. And the ratio that we would use to figure out side x is going to be cosine because that is equal to the adjacent length divided by the hypotenuse. So what we're going to do is we're going to write cosine of 62 degrees is equal to the adjacent side, which is x, over the length of our hypotenuse, which is 60. All right, now what we have to do is isolate our variable x. Because we're dividing by 60, we multiply by 60. And we have to balance our equation by multiplying 60 on the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and type in 60 times the cosine of 62 degrees. And that's going to give us 28.1682 and some change. So we would round this to 28.2. So we would say that x is approximately equal to 28.2 units.